where we've got uh, traditional, uh, you know, the stock market down 548 uh, and crypto. Has, yeah, crypto has been crypto's now this is the highest it's been in the last 24 hours. So what do you think? So give me a break and talk. And I've been talking now for a while. What do you think? What do you think about what we're seeing with this traditional finance versus crypto thing? I think finally, slowly but surely, Bitcoin and crypto is becoming the hedge that we thought it was. Right. And I think it all started, obviously, with the banks that, you know, collapsed earlier this year. We've just had another recent uh, scare as well. And I, I don't think it's over. I think we, we've talked about that. I think a lot of these regional banks, uh, like we see a lot of times, there's going to be a lot of consolidation. Right. Yeah. It, it's just going to come into the, the big three banks uh, eventually. But people, I think, are finally waking up to the idea now that Bitcoin's been around for a long time, over a decade, that, hey, maybe this Bitcoin thing and this crypto thing is not something to laugh at anymore. Maybe it's actually an interesting alternative investment. And I think that's what you're really seeing. And I mean, I can tell you this from personal anecdotes. I've had, you know, I've got people that I'm friends with that five years ago, you said crypto. They said, you're crazy. Now they're they're holding Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that that's kind of the, the starting point for a lot of people. So I think it's I think it's directly correlated to what we're seeing happen in the you know traditional financial sector and people are looking for a hedge and and gold has been performing pretty well too right to my knowledge yeah and i think people are looking at you know all of those alternative investments bitcoin crypto included